Hello again, everyone. Uh, Michael here with Felicity. November 8033 Foxtrot, a Cessna flight training device that I built at home. It is Tuesday, October 18th, 2022. I've decided to start uh, time stamping my videos. Um, now, when I go back and watch them, I can kind of have that reference there. Um, so I hope everyone has had a good week. It's been a been about a week since we've been able to fly um, scheduling conflicts and obviously our kids come first and foremost so uh, that being said um, wasn't quite sure what sort of shenanigans we wanted to get into this evening uh, but I figured we'll just roll right along into Wings IFR 6 from Boston Virtual ARTCC WestJet hello uh, how are you pleasure Hope you've had a good week. Um, um, so yeah, that, that's kind of our plan. Um, it is essentially going to be an IFR flight out of Boston and going to be heading to it's Echo Echo November. I forget the name of it right away. Hopkins. Dylan Hopkins. Um, going to be our destination it is an uncontrolled field so the uh, I, the fundamentals of this is essentially going to be flying a, a full IFR approach into an uncontrolled field and um, canceling that IFR flight plan at the appropriate times time um, either in the air or on the ground pending on the situation so we're gonna give it a shot I have just checked VAT SIM coverage a little bit ago. I'm going to go ahead and check that again just to be sure that uh, we're not getting ahead of ourselves here. So we'll just check our VAT scope. And let's see. So it looks like we've got coverage. I do see Boston Centers online. And Boston is online too, it looks like. So we should be able to uh, to get an IFR clearance and get this rating provided that you know they can accommodate it and the airspace isn't isn't too busy for my uh, single engine prop right now. So all of that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our planned route. Um, first, let's go ahead and see if there's a TEC route available for this, and I'm pretty sure there is. So in order to do that, I'm going to head right over to the bookmark I have saved for the um, uh, preferred uh, TEC root database inquiry. <laughs> yes, uh, she's the man. He goes and goes and goes. Um, so she is the Boston Center Control on VATSIM right now. He does an excellent job. Uh, also an instructor. So, origin, we are going to depart out of Boston. Remember, we eliminate the K, and we're Echo Echo November. Route All right, there is a TEC route available. Um, route stream, so Boston, then Manch, M-A-N-C-H, and then Keen, K-E-Y-N-N. And then obviously Echo Echo November is going to be our uh, final. Cruise altitude, I figure we will go ahead and say 6,000. Um, we are heading west. You know, granted, granted it's a TEC route and a lot of times those east-west rules don't apply. Um, WestJet, a TEC route is a uh, basically a terminal in route control. It's basically a uh, low IFR route um, uh, to kind of get through some, some busier airspace without having a contact center. So you essentially go from approach to an approach, um, or there could be multiple approaches along the way. Um, that, that's what a TEC route is. As opposed to a, uh, well, let's just see what sort of routes we have available here. So 
So there are several um, routes available, but a TEC route essentially is a low, um, it's a low IFR route, and a lot of times those those uh, east-west altitude restrictions don't apply to TEC routes because you're gonna, basically going to be applying an assigned altitude. So for final, I think I'll just go ahead and pick uh, six thousand since we're heading west. It's going to be our final cruise. Um, and coincidentally that root string at also matches the route that I was looking at earlier so we do know that that TEC route is current I want to thank everyone for coming in today so not sure what type of departure we'll get it'll probably be the Logan 4 um, we may get yeah, I don't know what type of departure, but arrival on approach, we are going to be utilizing the ILS. So I think I went ahead and saved that as a plate. Yep, um, ILS runway 2 at Echo Echo November, Hopkins. And we're going to request for our approach. Um, a... Uh, Full approach for the from Keho is it Keho Keho Charlie Alpha Hotel Oscar Whiskey um, after we cross Keene because based on our incoming route okay so that's right. Um, and then we will probably end up having to do a um, um, turn in lieu of a hold. There's a term for that. You're not making that. We're not going to be making that full hold. We'll only be making that partial turn. Um, and there's a term for that. Let me just look that up real quick, because now that's gonna, now that's gonna bother me here. Um, let's see. Hold in lieu of a procedure turn. So we're basically going to be coming down and then making a uh, almost a, it's going to be a basically one minute past um, the K holding, the uh, initial approach fixed. We're going to make a right hand turn at about 225 degrees and to re intercept the localizer um, back in. That's the plan, and that's my understanding of how this approach is going to work, because we're going to request a full approach from Keen, so we're going to get vector to Keen um, most likely. And then we'll just have to go down and make that turn, and come back. All right, enough chit chat. I think um, one of two things is going to happen. We're either going to pass this rating or we're not. And if we don't, then we're going to try it again. I think we're good. I think I'm ready. I'll see you after you. I'll see you over at the aircraft in just a couple minutes.
Well, all right. Glad to see you found the aircraft. Welcome aboard, Felicity. Just a second here while I get things situated. Okay. Um, something I found out, actually just earlier this evening, as I was getting things set up here, I was, uh, um, had my radios on, and I was sitting here at the ramp at Boston, and tossed my phone over on the seat and accidentally hit the keyboard, and what that did is that turned the GPS panel off. Um, the GPS window... It, it it closed that window out, and my FPS jumped up 10, 10 frames per second by closing that window out. thought to myself that was kind of odd. Um, let me get things started up here, and I'll finish, this, I'll finish that point, um, and I'll explain to you what I found out uh, while I'm waiting on that oil temperature to come up. Weight and balance. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was the wrong key to push. Hate it when I push that one. What this is, what you're seeing is uh, sort of background software that I use to set up the calibrations for the LCD warping um, that is used for the displays here. So, do apologize about that. Okay, what was I doing here? Uh, weight and balance. Uh, weight balance and fuel. You and I on board with our baggage. Uh, if we're uh, three-quarter tanks, left and right, gives us about six hours and 45 minutes of flight time. If we can go full full tanks, we got quite a quite a bit of fuse time, but that puts us at max takeoff, and we really don't need to do that. So we'll start about three quarter, and of course we're gonna visually check that as well. So our fuel is good. Okay. Um, my pen. And we got our 172, 172. Okay, got our checklist. Let's get scooted up here. Alright, uh, fuel quantity and quality, we already checked all of that. Uh, hubs. 1484.3. Tack time, 32.9er. Okay. Passenger brief. Um, well, just keep your seatbelt on for the duration of the flight. Keep the windows closed. Really going to be no need to open them. Mm -mm. Tack time hubs we got. Don't need to worry about oxygen on this flight. Alternate static air. Alternate static is off. See track got scooted up here a little bit ago. Reach the flight controls pedals. Rudder. Okay, we're right along to our start checklist. Um, cow flaps are open. Okay. 
Okay, circuit breakers, circuit breakers are all in, throttle is quarter, prop is high, mixture is lean, brakes are on. Clear prop, looks clear on the left, looks clear on the right, clear up front. Okay, master to on, beacon on. Drop my pen. It's never a very good thing. Okay, beacon is um clear. Max to start, mixture to rich. We do have engine rotation, oil pressure's in the green. And we're gonna hang out for oil temperature to come up, turn our landing line on for safety so that we can be seen. Turn our avionics on. Turn our transponder on, which is going to be a fire mode Charlie. Okay, while we're waiting on that oil temperature to come up, as I was saying, um, when my GPS was on, when the window was open, it accidentally, the window itself um, that is on the display, it was closed accidentally when I dropped my phone on the keyboard. But one thing I noticed is that my FPS jumped way up about 10 FPS. I thought to myself that was very interesting, so I opened the window back up and then drug the window from my main X-Plane monitor. So when, let me back up, I opened the window back up. When it initially opens, it opens on the main X-Plane monitor and my frame rate was 30 FPS. I undocked the window and drug it over to um, my uh, navigation unit here and maximized the window. And what happened when I moved it, when I undocked it and moved it, my FPS jumped, uh, dropped down by 10 FPS. Um, and it was that much, it was 10 frames per second. I thought to myself that was very interesting um, but at the time I had this unit plugged into a separate video card from these three um, displays here. So the three displays are all, all run off of a one video card and this was run off of a second. So I moved my 430 over to the, the main video card, the 3090 and my FPS is back up at 30. So I can only conclude that by utilizing an additional video card, um, it actually hinders the X-Plane performance output. And I, I couldn't tell you why. I don't know if it's because, because the CPU is splitting processes between two video cards or how that works. Um, but by moving all of the X-Plane windows to one video card, I gained 10 FPS. So right now, I am on the ground at Boston with high world objects and a high rendering distance. And my performance is much, much better. And I can even run it on, on high and still pull on 25 right now versus 15 when I tested it previously. So I'm kind of excited about that. Uh, oil temperature has come up into the green now. Let us go ahead and connect to the VATSIM network and see if we can grab any sort of data, see who's online, um, that sort of thing. We got a delivery online. 
Delta 37, Gate Boston Tower, good evening, wind 220 at 6, uh, runway 22 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, runway 22 right, Delta 317. Yes, West Chair, I agree, it's very interesting indeed. I think West explained you, or expressed you with one graphics card, even though that was only a 2D panel. It was costing me 10 FPS by running it unbacked on a separate video card. So and and they were both built in video right cards, so I couldn't tell you why. Delta 317, Alright, let me jot some frequencies down here. Boston ATIS 135.000. Clearance delivery. One two one point six five zero. And then ground. One two one point nine. -er. I have to grab the frequencies from Bat Sim off of the pilot plan because it doesn't always reflect real world frequencies. Boston Tower, one two eight point eight. 317, contact departure of the night. Approach, 133.0. Contact departure, Delta 317, good night. Delta 36, on Kilo, cross right 22, right contact, ground point, 100, good night. And what is jot down center, 134.7? Uh, runway 22, uh, right on Kilo, contact ground, Delta 36, good night. Plus 218, Boston Tower, runway 22, right line up and wait, traffic crosses downfield. Line up and wait, Southwest 218. Good week since our last flight. On the on the GA ramp here at Boston, getting ready to grab a Wings IFR six. We got our frequencies. Um, what else do we need to do that's important? Let's get a flight plan filed first. Let's go ahead and pack for this trip, and then we'll go ahead and get a uh, flight plan filed. Foxtrot, we're IFR. KW for life, hello, welcome. Welcome, my friend. Hope you are well. Uh, we're type 182. Lightweight category, we're slant golf. And departure, Kilo. Boston, Kilo Boston, Kilo Bravo, Oscar, Sierra, off block time, and we're at Boston. I do see a lot of uh, movement on the ground. I figure it's going to be every bit of 10 minutes or so before we're going to be able to get a clearance, but we'll find out. We'll just go ahead and say 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll just say 0, 0, 3, 5. That gives us about 15 minutes or so. Plus 218 contact departure, have a Cruise altitude. Over departure, thanks, have a good night, Southwest 218. Uh, <laughs> I mean, honest, honestly, it's just going to add another check mark on the, uh, on the completion box there on the website for Boston Virtual. But, at least for me, it will at least, well, I'll, 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 I will know that. I can at least look at this at uh, 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 be able to fly it. You know, my, my goal with these ratings is to be able to not, not memorize 
you know, the stuff that I read on the website and just do it. But to take the information and apply that to uh, uh, you know, look at any approach to the any departure and be able to at least understand most of it. 4,000 for Southwest 218, thanks. Can 866 contact Boston Tower 128.8? Boston Tower 128.8, I'm looking 866, good day. Four twenty to maintain three. Let's grab some Probability one zero. Your clouds at one zero thousand. Your clouds at two five thousand. Temperature one four. Two point seven. Altimeter two nine or six five. ILS runway two two left approach in use. Departing runway two two right. All aircraft read by call hold short instructions and assign altitudes. Numerous construction crates in the Boston area and in the vicinity of Logan Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Golf. Golf is current. Let's get it again from the top. In Logan Airport, it is information, Golf. 2354 Zulu. Web 230 at 6. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 10,000. Few clouds at 25,000. Temperature 14, 2.7. Altimeter 2965. ILS runway 22 left approach in use. Departing runway 22 right. All aircraft read by call hold short instructions and assigned altitudes. Numerous construction cranes in the Boston area and in the vicinity of Logan Airport. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Golf. Alright, Golf is current. Upton Logan Airport, it is information golf. 2354 Zulu. Web 230 at 6. Visibility 10. Few clouds at 10,000. Alright, so altitude is going to be 6,000. Airspeed 120, maybe 140. We'll just say 140, maybe. Arrival Kilo Echo Echo November. Alternate. Um, and I'm not even going to worry about an alternate. We're on a rating flight. In route time, and what did this route put us at? About 40 minutes or so. A few endurance we discussed earlier. Six hours of for forty-five minutes, and G R Golf Romeo. No, that wasn't it. It's Mike Alpha November Charlie Hotel. And then we're going to Kilo Echo Echo Yankee November. Is that right? K E E Y N K E Y N N. Gonna be our route. Uh, remark. Wings IFR six. And then we'll put the channel. Yes, hello, my girlfriend has a, is my newest follower. <laughs> Hi honey, I hope work is going decently. Wait, should I say that on the stream? I mean she's not working and watching at all. Alright, uh, flight plan looks good there. AFR, arrival, departure, okay. 
And our flight plan is filed successfully. Alright, oh, sorry about that short delay there. I'm gonna get kind of warm. I'm gonna go ahead and take my jacket off while we're in the plane. It's a bit cold outside. frequency. Assuming they just refer to it as Dylan, or is it Dylan Hopkins? It's all right. They'll find it on my flight plan anyway. Uh, one two one point six five. Still seems awfully quiet. We'll give it a call. See what happens. November 8033 Fox Trot, request wings IFR 6, IFR to Dillon, ATIS Golf.
Boston clearance, November 8033, Box Trap. Six five zero. It says I'm transmitting. Microphone, that's working. Boston Ground, November 8233, Fox Trap, radio check please. Connected to that sim. Do show all these frequencies online. Tower 128.8. Be down, so everyone's using text. What was that? Holding all departures and pushbacks until further notice. Austin Tower, November 8033, Box Trap, radio check, please. AFB is down, so everyone's using text for now. Roger, 8033, Box Trap. sit here and text it for a clearance. Unfortunately, I'm not necessarily designed to do that. Let's see. I suppose we can always just fly somewhere else in the area. Or do we wait to see if somebody comes?
Oh jeez, I'm not even gonna read some of this stuff. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're gonna be able to get a clearance out of Yeah, I'm not even going to read some of these things in this chat here. Uh, that's uh, the that's a message a window. My understanding, I don't know how that some ATC works, but it looks like there's a position staff. Somebody else can't take that position. And one guy's requesting this person that can't talk and uh, can only type, who's actually the delivery controller, um, stating that you can't do your job, sign off. Uh, something about he's going to get a supervisor and blah, blah, blah. It's all volunteer. I'm sure they do the best that they can. But without a clearance, we're not going to be able to grab Wings IFR 6. Let me just... in effect, AFB Alpha Foxtrot Victor servers are down. I have no idea what that even means. The controller's audio is down everywhere. Okay. Can't talk over radio. ZHU is going ATC zero. Alright. So, this isn't going to work for us. see what happens. <laughs> Sounds like someone's mic is stuck now. There it goes. Okay, gate hold has been lifted. If you're ready for pushback, just please give me a call in an orderly fashion. Thank you. Boston Clearance, November 8033, Fox Trap, Quest Wings, IFR 6, IFR 2, Dylan, Adis Golf. 8033, Fox Trap. Clearance our request, stand by. Boston Clearance, American 473 at the gate Bravo 15, ready for push to start. And American 
Hello, welcome. I'm doing great. How are you? Don't think I've had you aboard before. If I have, uh, welcome back. Wow. On the ramp here at Boston, getting ready to go uh, Wings IFR 6.
Right. What else do we need to do in our uh, pre-taxi uh, checklist? Avionics, hey, this, we got our altimeter, transponder, heading indicator to compass, that's a hold on. Continue your taxi on Alpha, right turn November, cross runway 15 right, hold short runway 15 left. Alpha November, cross 15 right, hold 15 left uh, for 495. Okay, that's good. Alright, now we're ready to do our right, run up and then taxi. 473, runway 22 <laughs> right, taxi Echo. Bravo, hold short, taxiway November. Didn't look like anybody's behind me. Echo, Bravo, hold so short, we'll be good to go here. Fuel is on both. First tram is set for takeoff. Mixture is going to be full rich. Flight control is down the right, up on the left, down on the left, up on the right. Elevator, rudder, both fuel responsive. Okay, brakes are on. Here we go. 1800. Left back, there's our drop. Right back, there's our drop. I'll cycle the drop. One. Two. Six one six six heavy taxi via Bravo. Three. And make a left turn on Alpha One. Monitor this frequency. Oil pressure drop. Manifold pressure rose. Go when I was working. Idle back. Throttle friction feels good. Okay, I think we're uh, ready to go. Boston ground, November 8033, Fox, ready taxi. November 33, Fox, Trout, runway 22 right, taxi via Bravo, hold short, taxiway Alpha 1. Mm -hmm. uh, 22 right here, Bravo, hold short, Alpha 1, 8033, Fox. At 495, crossway 15 left, monitor tower 128.8, goodnight. 15 left, monitor tower 495, please, mid sheet, bye bye. 164 Heavy Boston Ground, good evening. Push on the ramp at your discretion. Advisory for taxi. Uh, uh, just confirm this for Springbok 164 Heavy. I thought that call sign was Scandinavian. I have a lot of call signs. I just mixed you up there. Sure. Springbok 164, push the ramp. Advisory for taxi. All right, we're pushing the ramp and we'll advise when we're ready for taxi. Springbok 164 Heavy, thank you. Boston Ground, Charlie 227, Tango Bravo, radio check. I'm clear. Necessarily, well, I guess I could. But he's alright. He's turning on Alpha One. I thought he was already past Alpha One. November three three Fox Track. Continue your taxi on Bravo. Left turn November. Cross runway one five right. Hold short runway one five left. Continue Bravo left November. Cross one five right. Hold short one five left. Eight zero three three Fox Track. 6341 Tango, Boston Ground, runway 22 right, taxi via Alpha, hold short, taxiway November. Taxi uh, Alpha and hold short of November, 422 right, November 6341 Tango. Boston Ground, Charlie 227, Tangle Bravo, student pilot. Uh, good evening, looking to pick up my IFR clearance to Charlie 
Yankee Hotel Zulu. 227, take a problem. Looking 473, give way to a Cessna going left to right on November. Roger, we'll give way to the traffic, uh, American 473. Zulu Kilo 110, you'll give way to a 737 that's going to be right to left on November. So the aircraft in front of you is a Cessna that's going to turn left and another aircraft's going to go ahead of you. So hold short taxiway November. Uh, Roger that. Uh, holding short. Uh, Airbus coming from right to left to November. Zulu Kilo 110. Not an Airbus, but a 737. All right, 737. Thank you. Approaching runway 15 right. Entered runway 15 right. 7,700 feet remaining. Alright, so we're crossing this runway. On to November. Good 473, continue taxi November, cross 15 right, hold short 15 left. Right on to November, cross 15 right, hold short 15 left, American 473. Um, Tower one two. Zulu Kilo one one zero following the seven thirty seven we'll in front of you. By. Taxi on November to cross one five right, hold short one five left. Two eight point eight. We got tower on standby. Uh, Roger that crossing uh, November hold short one five left. So look kilo one one zero uh, just behind the seven three seven. Mm. Aircraft number four one tango, do not go any further, stop. November 6341 Tango, you're on taxiway November. I told you to hold short of it for a reason. Uh, hold it short. Number 33 Foxtrot, cross 15 left in November, monitor tower 128.8, good night. Cross 15 left, monitor tower, good night. Thank you, 33 Foxtrot. Approaching runway 15 left. All right. Towers in there, departure, let's get that on standby, 133.0. Oh. Climbing left turn, heading 140. We're going to go up to 3,000 feet. Boston Tower, good evening. This is American 2917 on 1010-mile final ILS turn. We took the left. American 2917, Boston Tower, wind 2206, runway 22 upward. Land traffic you're following is an A320 over the numbers. There's no traffic departs the farewell uh, prior to arrival. Clear to land, runway 22 left, and we've got that traffic. American 2917. 495, contact departure, have a guy. 495, order to departure, take care. Southwest 358 on Echo Cross, runway 22 right, contact our point hunter. On Echo Cross, 22 right, point hunter, Southwest 358, have a good night. Number 8033, Fox Drop off the tower, runway 22 right, live and wait. 22 right, line up and wait, November 8, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, Fox Trot. going on. Turn our nav lights on. Starting to get a little dark out, actually. Taxi light on. Added visibility. Lining up on 22 right. 802, uh, Boston. Welcome to Boston on Charlie. Hold short, runway 22 right, departing traffic. Holding short on 22 right, departure. 033 Fox, turn on departure, turn right heading 240, wind to 2206, turn right 22 right, clear for takeoff. Right heading 240 on departure, thanks for the winds, clear for takeoff, 22 right, 8033 Fox, Trot. Right heading 240. Airspeed, rotate.
Alright, there's my 400 feet. Departure, contact, departure, have a good night. Departure, 3 uh, Three miles from Wayne, turn left. Heading uh, 250, maintain breathe out until fast and walk out of the crew. I'll turn right 22 off the bridge. Left 250, maintain 3000, cleared ILS, 22 left the bridge, ship with your safety. Boston departure, November 8th, 33 Fox Trail, heading 240, 1300, climbing 3000. So November 8th, 33 Fox Trail, Boston departure, radar contact, climb and maintain 5000, actually climb and maintain 6000, we'll uh, get you on course about 5 or 10 miles. Climb maintain 6000, 8033 Fox Trail. So we may be rolling into dusk during the duration of this flight, so I may have to turn some lights off in here unless we roll the clock back. We'll see how it goes. So I do want to thank everyone for coming in today, hanging out, while we try and go for this breeding. Hope you've all had a good week since the last time we flew. So we need to climb. 6,000 feet on this heading. American 473 Boston departure radar contact, climb 18, 14,000. 14,000 American 473. 933 Foxtrot, turn right towards Manch. Right towards Manch, 33 Foxtrot. Four zero four heavy descent and maintain four thousand. Heading three five three. finally came back online and uh, we did get our clearance, so welcome back. I've never actually experienced that before, that's, that's kind of interesting, I've never known that to go down. Oh, 
the plane current.
gonna put Keen in here as the next waypoint. Uh, Boston departure, November Lima Lima 89 is currently at uh, 1,700, climbing to 2,000. The airport in here. Uh, maintain a proper BFR altitude, proceed on course to Providence. Uh, maintain BFR altitude and uh, proceed on course November Lima 89, thank you. We got a ground speed right now. Fly heading 330, descend and maintain 3000, vectors ILS runway 22 left approach. We are making a ground speed right now, about 147, indicating uh, 115 or so. Altitude, I'm going to go ahead and turn the fuel pump on, switch us over to the left tank. This Manch Waypoint. Not far from Manchester, Boston, right, Regional. Three, three, Fox, contact, Boston Center, one three four point seven. Boston Center, one three four point seven eight zero three three Fox, thank you for your service, evening. Boston Center, good evening, November 8033 Fox, level 6000. 8033 Fox, Boston, hello, Max, that's Route 7 or 2965. 965, 8033 Fox, Setting here in the Boston area. I mean, technically, it has already set. I only came back a few hours, so it's currently probably 910 in Boston. Boston, Central Delta 728, with you crossing flight level 300 on the Rubble 3 arrival. 720 Boston, squad 4745. Uh, current time and simulator. It's 546 p.m. for Boston. So 2527 radar contact over view, maintain battle with 350. About Delta 2520. Three and a half hours back. I wanted to get some daylight. 728 radar contact over fax clear direct Roebuck and descend and maintain battle with 230. Rumble and Okay, let's um, take a minute to look at our approach plate uh, for you know that place we're going to, Dylan Hopkins. I would like. Bernie, what's up, Bravo Kilo contact? Boston approach 133.0. Have a good day. 133.0, 817, Bravo Kilo. Good day. You know, I'm just going to request the uh, ILS runway 2 uh, from Keho. Now. Uh, Bravo Papa, descend and maintain 6,000. I can either request that after Keen, or I can I can probably even request direct to Cato. Uh, Delta 
Are in here. Um, let's go ahead and get our Gardner to be a Hey, look at that, we're still active from our last flight. so I can monitor that here. That way I know um, where the initial approach fix is uh, as I'm tracking the localizer outbound.
how we look at Moon shader panel looks good, oil temperature, oil pressure is in the grain, suction looks good. Uh, yeah, everything's looking good um, on the panel there. Good fuel flow, good manifold pressure. Added 495, cross crank at and maintain 7000, new work altimeter 2974. Cross crank 7000, 2974 for United 495. Clip 728, contact Boston approach 133.0, have a good night. Boston approaching 133.0, thanks for the cut, Clip 728. Do the song there. And I've lost some five we go for when we were into Millinaco will be cancer on the on the ground and excluding the full approach. It looks like the weather dropped a little bit, it's just a little bit above minimums. It looks sounds good. Fox Trent, advise the weather at Keen and when able, say approach request. We'll go 8033 Fox Trent. Let's take a look at Keen weather. Early Midway, my 89 are flighting 210, join the localizer. Winds are calm, visibility is clear, 10 miles, sky clear. Five minutes off, what's Cindy normally use, just out of curiosity? I'll say again, that five minutes off, I didn't catch up last week. That simulator do you use, just out of curiosity? This is um, for FSX, the old one. Is that what you normally use for everything, or just in this case? That's what I normally use. Okay. You gotta upgrade. Alright, well, it's all trustworthy. Okay, um... I think weather. I have to fudge everything, though. That's the problem. Winds are calm, visibility. Boston Center, November 8033 Foxtrot. We have the weather at Keene and we would like the full ILS runway 2 approach after Keene. Sounds good. Uh, where do you want to start that approach then after Keene? I'm sorry, please repeat. Uh, so after Keene, which initial approach six would you like? I'm sorry, we'd like the KHO IAF E033 Fox Trap. E033 Fox are very good. After Keen, direct KHO. After Keen, direct KHO E033 Fox Trap. American 112 Kilo, contact Boston approach 133.0. Have a good night. 133.0, have a good night. American 112 Kilo. American 473, contact New York Center 125.32. Have a good night. Alright, so we'll point this out. 
Um, I was confused at first, and then I recalled the plate. Two two left, boss, There's two oh, initial two approach two approaches. Two arrival, two two left. There's two, There's two initial fixes we could have uh, uh, grabbed or selected. But uh, coming up where we were, uh, Cato would have been the, the ideal one, the most logical one. We were coming more from the southeast. Because uh, Garner's there, that's the other initial approach fix. So if we were coming from further southeast, we would have come down this way, we might have been able to blend that one. Good evening, sir. Stop 
November 11816 on the ground, uh, Lebanon IFR 2 and around that regional. For 11816 off the center, are you looking for a wing time for 20? Paper. For 11816, wing time for 20 is approved, clear to the Cernak Lake Airport to be a direct climb of 18,000. Contact me at this frequency, uh, actually, uh, that's just climb and maintain 8,000 and squawk 4746. <laughs> I could have you at around that regional uh excuse me eight thousand and four seven four six Sirius eight sixteen. Here to twelve and eight one six three back right divisor it's taxi runway two five. Call for taxi two five. Boston Sun at November three three box shot six thousand. So 6374 descend via the Roebuck 3 arrival, runway 22 left, Boston on 29966. We do have hotel descend via the arrival for uh, 22 left for Delta C 374. Boston Center, Citation 103 Juliet Alpha is working, checking in, uh, passing through 12000. 103 Juliet Alpha, Boston Center, hello, climb, and maintain 16000. Maintain 16000, 103 Juliet Alpha. Center, November 2, I would like to go back to show to 16 ready. Alright, so it's an out, back. Uh, 28100 Quebec, remain outside of the Providence Class Charlie airspace, running 16 clear for takeoff. We're going to be getting a descending here, Sam. No, we're at 227 to expect the Islas Yankee, runway 15 approach. Islas Yankee, you want to approach, uh, 227, you're So we can't be higher than 4,900 on the outbound. Can't be lower than 4,100 on the impact on the inbound of the 018. 470 miles and good evening, climb, and maintain about 340. So, our minimum at Keho is going to be 3100. I don't think we'll be at that minimum. American 
This captures here. I know that I'm going to be on my KHO. Um, I know I'm going to be at the uh, initial approach fix. And then from there, I'm going to time uh, one minute out. to be right about there. So let's go ahead and time my we start at one minute. So we got to about 3,100 to play with, um, but we don't want to, oh, no, or out of 3,100, but we don't want to cross Keho below 3,100 at all. All right, we're almost to our minute mark there. Localizer back inbound. Doing about a hundred. I'm sorry, uh, 
180 plus 45 with a 225 degree right hand turn. So turn in lieu of a hold entry, as it's called apparently. that localizer here and roll right back into it we are a little low on the glide slope so we're gonna hang out right around here until we start coming down or until our needle starts moving down there. And then we're just gonna fly the needles all the way down to runway 2 at Keene. the airport environment nor the runway environment currently. But we've almost got our vertical captured. There it is. Just kind of getting tossed about up here. A little bit high, a little bit left. Speed-wise, uh, yeah, we're plenty. We're not gonna fall out of the sky by any means. When I hand fly the needles like this, I try to keep it as uh, rel relatively slow because everything happens slower when you're going slower.
There's our outer marker. I think I might have the runway environment made. Don't see any other traffic in the area. I don't necessarily expect anybody to be coming in here. Um, so we probably could go ahead and cancel on the ground. is four miles out on the ILS zero two right approach. Keen. I said zero two right. There is no zero two right per se. It's zero two. But there's a good chance that not anybody else heard that other than you all. Since we are on Unicom and not hardly anybody here. I've only ever run into one other person on Unicom, by happenstance. Never else have I run into anybody on Unicom. A little bit right, a little bit low now. Let's go ahead and correct that. Let's just add some power. It's going to slow our descent rate some. There she is. there. A little right. So it is about two degrees, about two, de about two degrees right.
Hey, right, let's exit on Charlie. If we exit on Charlie, do we have to cross a runway? We do. That's fine. It's uncontrolled. We'll make a traffic call. Okay. Uh, well, let's go ahead and get our IFR canceled. We are on the ground here. Keen traffic to Red Brick 033 Foxtrot is clear, runway 02 and taxiing to the ramp, Keen. Boston Center, November 033 Foxtrot on the ground at Keen, cancel IFR please. Thank you, thank you for your service this evening. November 833 Fox Truck, good night. 320 maintain 270 knots. Maintain 270 knots, Delta 320. Alright, so we've got wings IFR 6 under our belt now. Um, that being said, I feel confident enough to go ahead and uh, uh, take the I-7 rating on Pilot Edge, um, which is the same type of flight, going from a uh, controlled field to an uncontrolled field, using uh, uh, the only difference is it's going to be a VOR approach versus an ILS approach. But I think that uh, I think we'll be able to knock that one out. Melvin, you are correct. Uh, the Wings is a excellent program. I'm all about the free training, um, the free information. Where are we at here? No, nope, we don't want to go. Uh, yep, maybe we do want to go that way. The hangar over there. Okay. Right, 4435. I'm sorry. Spark VFR. Approaching runway 32. Now, for those of you, if anybody's watching, if you fly X-Plane, if you use X-Plane, you've got to go to the Scenery Gateway and get my latest airport, Kilo Echo November Whiskey, um, Kenosha, Wisconsin. It's been tedious, tedious. Excuse me. Keen, traffic November 8, 33 Fox Shot, crossing one way, 3, 2, Keen. I just talking about. Oh yeah, um, the I six rating on pilot edges of a VOR approach. Um, but anyway, what was I say? Oh yeah, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Spent tedious, tedious hours developing this airport. Um, it's got a new runway length, um, um, but everyone seems to really, really enjoy it so far. So I'm really kind of happy about that. Kilo Echo November Whiskey. It's on the Scenery Gateway. Go download it, check it out. You won't be disappointed. Especially if you're familiar with the field. Okay, this is like a nice parking tee right over here. Just for me. We got Wings I-5-6, let's go ahead and shut things down here, and then let's just head on over to Kenosha, do a couple in the pattern. Uh, lights, avionics, radios all going off.
Next off. Mastered off. I am a disconnect from the event sim network. Okay. I'm going to step out, take a brief intermission, and we will be right back in Kenosha, Wisconsin.
Fire, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Echo November Whiskey. Fresh off of the X-Plane Airport Development Press. Um, started on it, uh, took about two weeks or so to do this one, but this is the first time that we've actually gonna fly it. And we're only gonna do a couple in the pattern here and then I'm gonna have to call it an evening. Let's go ahead and expedite our startup real quick. We are connected to the VATSIM network. We will be making some Unicom calls. Uh, there's going to be nobody online for ATC. Yeah, no, okay. Master on, beacon on. Uh, clear pop, clear in the left, clear in the right. Mixture to rich and mags to start. rotation, landing light on, avionics going on, transponder going on, VFR move, Charlie, Unicom, and ATIS here. Information Alpha 22, 15 Zulu, arriving runway 33, departing runway 33, weather, wind 320 degrees at 14 knots, gusts 24, visibility <laughs> more than 10 miles, sky conditions overcast at 3,900, temperature 6, dew point minus 3, altimeter 2,998, advise on initial contact you have information Alpha. Soha information alpha 22 15 Zulu or Niner Niner 743 feet Looks good there. It's gonna be kinda windy. I wanna take two five right. Um, that's our new runway. That's the one that we lengthened. Or that was lengthened. So despite the winds, we're going to uh, go for 2-5 right. Three three is the active. <laughs> it's going to be a heavy crosswind. Let's see what happens, shall we? Um, so we'll just take Delta, and then actually, you know what? We're just gonna we're just gonna drive around the airport for a little bit. Park, break off.
So this is AVP Kenosha right here on the right. Some overcast has got the sunlight kind of gone away. So I've, I've never been to this airport, pretty unfamiliar with it. Um, I found it in the um, scenery bug reports for X-Plane, and the runway needed to be redone. Um, so I went ahead and uh, took that on. But for the, uh, the people that are actually familiar with it in the real world to compliment it really kind of makes me uh, happy about it. The FPO, the tower. Tell you what, Oops. normally I wouldn't do this, but I want to clear these clouds. I want to. We're just gonna get rid of that cloud layer. We're going to keep everything else, our winds and everything. Now I can see things a little bit better. Uh, this little brick building here, I'm assuming, is a restroom of sorts. Oh, it's hard to tell. Bunch of bunch of small hangers at this one. Approaching runway zero seven right, two five left. Approaching runway zero seven right. Kenosha traffic November two three three box shot crossing two five left. Kenosha. Two thousand five hundred feet remaining. Let's get up in the air. We'll just check it out from the air. Oh. Man, it must be windy. Alright, let's just hold some wind correction in on this uh, taxi roll as we crab into the wind and taxi. Approaching runway 33. Alright, Michael. Let's try this again. There's our wind correction. I'm all over the place here. Alright, where are we trying to go? 2 5 right. And we're crossing 2 5 left again. This 
is the east ramp over here. Uh, Stein's aircraft service is over there. Something else is over there. Um, when I was drawing the airport, uh, the, the ground had just been dug on the satellite imagery for the something else. So I'm not really sure what it is other than the approximate size and shape and color. This is the east ramp. Yeah, so this building straight ahead, I'm not sure what it is, but this building off to the right, Stein's Aviation. Stein's Aircraft Services, that's what it is. Over here and grab Alpha 2, down to Alpha 1, 2 5 right. And if we were to look here, it says this Romeo Papa 7R 25R. That's right pattern, 25 right and 7 right. So both of those runways are going to be right hand traffic pattern. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have fun. All right. What what did we write down? Wind for three two zero at fourteen, gusting two four. Heading the decay to compass, that would make more sense. Gonna have traffic November 8, 0, 3, 3, Fox Foxtrot, taking runway 25 for right, right close traffic, Kenosha. Approaching runway 25 right. Entered runway 25 right. 6,500 feet remaining. Alright, wind correction. Lots of wind correction. Let's ease the power in so we can maintain our rudder reasonably. Alright, there she is, full power. Right rudder, wind correction, hold in, airspeed, neutral, rotate, positive right. It does look pretty good.
standard altitude. Kenosha traffic number HR33 Fox Shot, right crest wind 25, right Kenosha. And downwind. Kenosha traffic November eight zero three three Fox Shot, turning right downwind 25, right Kenosha. Kenosha traffic, number 8033 Fox Shot, midfield, right down, wind 25 right, Kenosha. Alright, there's our numbers. Power back to 1500. Let's capture 80 knots. Kenosha traffic, memory 033 Fox Trot, right base 25 right, full stop Kenosha. Kenosha traffic, 033 Fox Trot, right base to final approach 25 right, full stop Kenosha. Horrible, horrible, horrible landing, uncoordinated. going to have time for, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Tell you what, we're just going to need to head back to the ramp. Shut it down. these uh, many hangers here. Actually, just head, we'll just head right over to the uh, uh, yeah, the old ABP buildings all the way over there.
I've got to open. I've got to open a hangar. I left one open down here just for us. So let's go down here and grab that. There we are. Let's go ahead and shut things down here. Flaps going up. Secure this cabin. Parking brake on. Avionics off. All of our lights going off. Disconnect from the vent sim network. G5 going off. Lean, Max to off and the master to off. Okay. One four eight six point five. So 2.2 and then 35.0 on the tag. 2.1, so yeah, it matches up. Okay. Aircraft is secured. I will see you all over at the FBO. We'll debrief for a couple minutes. All right, there we have it. Um, I want to thank everyone for coming in and hanging out. Uh, we grabbed Wings IFR-6 from Boston this evening. Uh, and then went and checked out uh, Kenosha, my, uh, my newest airport for X-Plane. So good evening, good flights. Um, so I do want to thank you all for coming in. Uh, next, uh, next on the unscheduled schedule is going to be our i7 on pilot edge um, we're gonna go to catalina it's actually one of my favorite airports and one of my favorite approaches um, i've flown the approach before but not for any sort of rating or anything like that um, so yeah that, that's gonna be that's unless there's an event coming up my next scheduled events next tuesday with the virtual usa flying club I don't think there's a scheduled event between here and then, so possibly Friday for the I-7 on Pilot Edge. Um, yep, yeah, possibly Friday. Um, Alright, so yeah, as always, it's my pleasure having you on board. Um, it is fun. Flying is fun. It's fun for me. It's always more fun when it's more than one, and that's you all, so um, you make that happen. So let's see who we can go and say hello to this evening. Um, sh 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 
Tell you what, let's go and say hello to Quas. Um, really fun to watch. And let's see what he, he's in. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, he's doing the uh, uh, Southern Shinedown event on Vatsim. So that ought to be a, a fun to watch. And yep, yeah, he is. Let's see. Is he, at, he might be doing ATC currently. Yeah, either way, let's go say hi to him. Um, you all have a great evening and take care. And hopefully see you on Friday. Have a good night.